Okay, so we've we've already gone through the first one of the first methods of measuring grass through uh, a shears and quadrant method, and this is probably the the next most commonly next most common device to help you to measure grass, and that's a uh, rising plate meter. Okay, um, they're New Zealand design. Um, again, have been used over decades at this stage again to to reasonably accurately measure grass. Okay, so how does it work? Um, so again, you have obviously a plate on the end of a shaft and with a recording device on it. And basically what this device does is that it measures the height of the sward. It measures the, the compressed height of the sward, okay? And what it does then, once it measures the height, there's an internal formula built into it that turns that height into a yield of grass, okay? Um, again, probably the best way to describe it is just to demonstrate how to use it, okay? So what I'm gonna do, again, is just to walk walk tr around the paddock uh, generally what farmers might do is walk across a diagonal to, to take a representative um, to take representative measures of the paddock um, and basically all I'm doing is just placing it down on the sward and letting it rise okay and I'll just keep doing it now Okay, so just there you heard, you may have heard a double beep and you heard a long beep then, okay? So that double beep and the long beep uh, signifies that you're after taking 30 measurements in the paddock. And ideally that's, you know, that, that's, if you have 30 measurements in the paddock, it's a lot of measurements to have taken. And the great thing about this is that it's continuously averaging it as you're going along. So the reading for, for this plate meter in this paddock um, is 984 kilos of dry matter per hectare okay um, again just to to I suppose to compare it and contrast it to the to the shears and quadrant method that we used there a minute ago um, shears and quadrant gave 960 this gave 980 uh, so again they're both of them are telling very very well okay um, so that's how you use a rising plate meter to measure grass